Welcome to another edition of Pandas Mobile. Um, today we're doing something that has been requested. You know, I know it's hard to believe someone's actually requested me to do something from my channel, but they have. Uh, very nice um, subscriber has asked me to talk about the 12 volt system, but I'm going to show the actual uh, 12 volt system that came in Hetty, my C15 Roma Home Hilo, when she was new in 2000. They haven't changed that much over the years, and it all starts with the panel that Arnold has so graciously got his right paw up to, the ZIG unit. So we're going to start with the ZIG unit. Today's little video is all about the 12 volt system in the back of a C15 Roma Home. But very briefly, why do you want 12 volt in the back of your van? What's the point of 12 volt? Well, if you're not on the electric hookup, you'll probably want to charge your phone or your iPad or as we looked at recently, your mobile MiFi device or even, if you've got enough power, if you've got the right tools to do it your laptop, um, your electric razor all sorts of low power equipment that you can charge up from having 12 volt in the, 12 volt in the back of the van so it's not just lightings and water pumps and that sort of thing it provides you the opportunity to power some of your and recharge some of your devices okay so we've got rid of Arnold so we can actually get on with this video now so this is the start of the 12 volt system in the back of my C15 Roma home this is called a ZIG unit or if you like it's a 12 volt electrical distribution board it's got a gauge just here showing the condition of my leisure battery the leisure battery is the battery that goes in the habitation unit it's in, in Hetty it's directly behind this panel so behind this wall is the leisure battery and we're very pleased to see that mine is showing in the green there so Hetty's battery is well charged it's probably because I'm an electric hookup and it's a nice sunny day and we've got the solar but that's where we start that's the display of the leisure battery status but is it well fortunately it is because this switch on the left you'll see um, you probably see has got the car at the top here and a caravan at the bottom and in the middle it says off so if I turn it off look what happens to that gauge okay there's no power going to this zig distribution board at all now if I go back to caravan it's getting all the power from the leisure battery on some Roma homes it will be wired up as mine is but if I go to car little car setting there look it's actually now taking power from the van battery so if the leisure battery were to go flat in an emergency I can swap it across and get power from the car battery but we never do that and there's no reason not to leave it in the caravan position quick tip if all your 12 volt ever goes dead it is probably because in transit that switch has got knocked look so you'll have no 12 volt at all so before panicking about have I blown a fuse for the lights have I blown a fuse for the pump have I blown a fuse for the auxiliary socket just check that your caravan switch here is set to caravan and all your 12 volt comes back on so that's the first switch we talk, we've spoken about the main where you get your power from which battery you get your power from we're going to move along and look at the next three switches in order to see what each of those does okay so the next switch along says pump on it and that's exactly what it does it operates the water pump in a previous video you'll probably have seen where the water pump is on a c15 uh high low roma home at least of a 2000 one it's again just behind this panel in another little locker just behind just behind there if you like um, but the pump's turned off at the moment because look the switch is set to off now the actual pump is operated by a little 12 volt switch in the tap but what I've done is because I've turned the tap on so the plan is and we're doing this live so it could all go terribly wrong the, because the switch is turned on back there if I switch that to on at the switch now the pump should run should we see if it does it let's listen up I'm sure you can hear that that is the pump running the 12 volt pump running I'm now going to go and turn it off at the tap so I'll move away and I'm now reaching over to turn it off at the tap
and there we go. So I've turned off the pump at the tap. Again, no reason not to leave the pump switch on. It's only going to ever be turned off, really, if you're going to leave the van for any length of time. But just to leave it for a week or overnight or whatever, or certainly when you're parked up and hooked up um, for you know a week away, don't bother turning it off. Okay, so that was the pump switch. Okay, so the next one along says lights. And what that does is that does the tube lights and the wall lights that are in the back of a C15 Roma home. So on Hetty, I've got uh, two tube style lights, one at each end of the habitation units, and they're connected to each cabinet, so the sink and the cooker cabinets, if you like. There's also a wall light that shines down so you can read. Same trick again here. I've turned the switch off here, so the switch is off here, but I have turned one of the ceiling lights on. So again, we're doing this live, how very exciting. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that switch on and you should notice uh, some immediate brightness because the light directly above us should come on. Let's give it a go. So turning the light on, there we go, we got light. Just in case you didn't see that, there it is. Of course you wouldn't turn your lights on using that switch, you use the switches on the lights. And I'm going to reach up and just turn that switch off now, just so you can see that that is on live there, but I'm going to turn it off at the light above our heads. And there it is, turned off. So that's the light switch dealt with. So that's two easy ones. The next one says AUX, which may seem a little bit confusing, but if we just rename that 12 volt power supply, it would make a lot more sense. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so this is the 12 volt auxiliary or cigarette lighter socket in Hetty's habitation unit that Roma Home gave us. It is at the end of the locker just here. This is the end of the locker and just to the left of this as we look, this is the kitchen unit. This is the washing, uh, dishwashing and sink and storage and all that under here. And the sink is up above. So that is a position in my Roma home where Roma home put in a 12 volt socket. And it is permanently live apart from at the switch on the Zig unit. So it can be turned on and off from the switch at the Zig unit, but it has no switch of its own. It's on at the moment, and what I will do is I will just push a sort of phone charging adapter in, and there you go, it's come to life. Um, and I don't want to climb over the video camera to do it, so I'll demonstrate in a minute uh, that that AUX switch, the last switch on the Zig unit, is the one that operates this cigarette lighter or auxiliary socket. AUX means auxiliary socket. So there we are, that is the 12 volt socket that Roma Home supply. And in case you're wondering what it says up here, it says max load 12 volt 8 amp terminals, pin live and spring neutral. And that just refer to, ref, refers to the 12 volt setup. Um, 12 volt pin is the one on here if you like. This is the pin. Where am I? Am I yes, I am. that's the pin. And these around the edges are the spring. So it's saying that the pin is live and the spring is neutral. That is the same setup for any negative earth vehicle, I believe. Anyway, so that is a 12 volt socket. Let's go and have a look at it on the Zig unit. Okay, just to get a position of where that 12 volt auxiliary socket we were just talking about was, um, I'm at the back of Hetty now with the kitchen on the left. Just here, there's the kitchen. I go down under the seat and look right on the end, just there. That is that 12 volt uh, auxiliary socket we were looking at. I apologise for the flapping. I'm at Ebury Hill, the wind's got up and the awning's flapping. So we've seen the 12 volt, if you like, cigarette lighter style power, su power supply that came with the van. So it's like a cigarette lighter and you can plug stuff into it like we did to see it come to life. Um, this is simply the power supply for that. So if I was to have something running here, um, 
and turned it off and on you'd immediately see it in fact let's do that so what we've done on the far right of the picture just here you will see my iPhone what I'm going to do is having connected that up to charge through the 12 volt socket that we looked at a little while ago that is all powered up to charge through that socket but look it's turned off here so as I flick the power on hopefully we will see that phone come straight to life again we're doing this live let's see if it works and there we go so we're getting power from that 12 volt socket that we looked at a short while ago and um, again no point really in leaving it off that's the phone just flicking off because it's now charging um, no point turning it off really unless you really really want to you could turn all these things off if you're really really secure I have never bothered I have to be honest but it's entirely up to you so that's what all the switches do and the gauge does but of course you can see below that there are three little like screw heads and we'll tell you what they do right now so there we go the three little screw head like things underneath each of the switches um, and they say 10a underneath them those of you in the know that will give you a clue they are 10 amp fuses and they are glass fuses in this so long glass 10 amp fuses um, so each circuit is secured by a 10 amp fuse um, should be more than adequate for anything you do certainly adequate for the lights fine for the pump or they wouldn't put a 10 amp in there um, and it's pretty good supply for uh, the 12 volt auxiliary socket the cigarette lighter socket in the back 10 amp is pretty good for that um, volts times amps equal watts so I think we're going to get about 120 120 watts out of that um, that's a lot so you'll be perfectly adequate as long as you don't try and boil a 12 volt kettle or run a 12 volt heater from it you'll be fine for anything like charging a phone and even a laptop you'll be absolutely fine you won't need to do any more than that 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 one socket will be just fine so that's what Roma Home gave us so there we go that was my bit about 12 volt electrics in the back of a C15 Roma Home as I say that was all about what Roma Home actually fitted in Hetty, my C15 Hilo from around 2000. Um, that was for a uh, subscriber called DMAC, who was, uh, asked me to do a little bit. I hope that's what you were looking for. Um, it's the best I can do, I'm afraid, because that's the 12 volt that's in the back of Hetty. Um, <clears throat> you did also ask about uh, the 12 volt and the fridge. Unfortunately, the 12 volt supply to my fridge doesn't work. Um, I'm told that it's not very successful anyway so um, it's not really worth putting them on 12 volt because what happens is when you put them on 12 volt it only works with the engine running or the ignition on anyway as soon as you turn the engine off the 12 volt supply should cut out otherwise it would flatten your leisure battery literally in minutes um, because it draws an enormous amount of power from the leisure battery and as I say I've been told it's not very successful anyway trying to call the um, fridge on 12 volt anyway if any other members have got um, questions about things they think I might be able to help with I'm more than willing to have a bash at making a video about them for you um, I am no expert I just happen to own a C15 Roma Home Hetty my C15 Roma Home Hilo from around the year 2000 she's a grand finale she's one of the last ones made brilliant if you like this sort of stuff, please keep continuing to like and subscribe and tell your friends. Get my subscriber numbers up there. Never in a million years when I started this did I think, get, think I'd get 200 people who were interested. Um, but I have so far. And I'm very kind of you all to take a little bit of time out of your day to watch my videos. Um, thanks so much. Like, subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Say goodbye, Arnold.